Hi everyone, thanks a lot for watching this short video on one of the most common use case. We hear from our customers that how CyberArk Endpoint Privilege Manager can help you to allow scripts uh, coming from the trusted source only. They want to run all these scripts in a normal mode or an elevated mode. However, if any of these scripts are coming from the any other source, like it could be downloaded from the internet or any other means, all these scripts should be blocked. So this is the brief agenda I have put together. We will start off with the understanding of the use case requirements first. Then we will jump on to, to understand whether CyberArk Endpoint Privilege Manager can help you to achieve this use case or not. Last but not the least, we will jump on to the demonstration and that's where we will be spending majority of our time. So let's try to understand the use case first. So this is uh, some of the key uh, requirements of the use case. So generally, organizations would like to allow the scripts coming from the trusted source only. So typically it could be a net trusted network file share or any other means. And as a next step, they want to block any other scripts or any scripts coming from untrusted source. It could be coming from internet or it could be created locally by the users. So now the question comes, can CyberArk EPM can help you to achieve this use case? Answer is why not? So CyberArk EPM can help you to this, uh, achieve this particular use case via three simple steps. Again, we will be looking into the demonstration as well. So let's jump on to the demonstration. So before the demonstration, I just want to highlight that we will be configuring or we will be playing with three different policies. Okay. We will be looking at this entire use case step by step. The first step is we will create a block policy that will allow the administrator to block any kind of a BAT scripts coming from any source, regardless whether it is coming from a trusted or untrusted source. So once we are able to achieve or are able to configure this particular step, then we will be jumping on to the next step. In the next step, we will let users to run the bad scripts if it is located in the trusted source location. But whenever these scripts being copied over from the trusted file share to the local machine, you will see hey, all these scripts cannot run. I will explain you the reason. As a last step, we will create a, another advanced policy where we will mention that any file or any scripts, BAT scripts, in our case, if it is coming from the trusted software location, it should be able to run in the normal mode or the elevated mode if it is required. So in the last step, so we will see how EPM is able to track the exact source location hey, from where the file is coming from. So let's jump on to the demonstration. So for the demonstration, we will be navigating across like two different uh, consoles. The first one is my virtual machine console. As a preparatory steps, what I did, I have already installed my EPM agent. So here you can see my EPM agent is installed. So everything looks okay. So before we start configuring the policy, let's try whether we can run all these scripts or not. So here you will see I'm able to run a script in a normal mode. But what about if certain scripts need to be run in an elevated mode? Can I run the scripts? So here you will see EPM is intercepting the UAC uh, prompt. And that's where you will not be able to run any kind of a BAT scripts in the elevated mode because the user uh, what I'm using, it's a standard user. And if we go to the trusted software, in the trusted software, you are able to see, I have created a couple of files, but for today's demonstration, we will be focusing upon the test file. Again, it is a BAT file. If I try to run, you will be able to see, hey, I'm able to run this file in a normal mode again. But when I try to run this file, in administrative mode so you are able to see 
EPM is in, uh, throwing this, uh, intercepting the UAC and is throwing this particular option. Hey, you can put a request and then your system administrator can review it. Then accordingly is going to allow it. So let's jump onto the EPM side. On the EPM side, I want to show you certain things. If I go to the default policies, so you are able to see, I just configured one simple policy only. So we are going to detect the privilege unhandled applications, nothing else, okay? And no policies has been configured at the moment. So as a first step, so what we will do, we will create a block policy. For the block policy, what we will do, we will leverage upon the application groups and the application group, we will leverage upon this block. So currently it is set as a deactivated mode. So let me show you how the policy is gonna look like. Again, it's a very simple policy. If I do edit, so you are able to see we are blocking the script. As the next step, so what I'm doing, location can be any, and as long as uh, uh, it is a, a BAT scripts, so we want this, uh, we want to block it. So what I will simply do, I will simply activate this application groups, okay? We will go back to our to our virtual machine, Windows 10 virtual machine. I will fetch the policies. So once I'm able to fetch the policies, so let's try running the scripts again on the local. So whenever I'm running this, you are able to see, hey, this particular application has been blocked, okay? And the similar behavior you will see, even if I'm trying to run the same script or a similar script from the trusted software. So you are able to see this application has been blocked. So now we are able to achieve our first step. So now what we are going to do, we are going to simply allow. So users should be able to run uh, BAT scripts in the trusted software store uh, directly on this particular location. So for this particular uh, use case or this particular step, we will go to the advanced policies. Under the advanced policies, uh, we will look into this elevated trusted on location policy. Currently, it is set to uh, deactivate it. So we will activate it later on. First, let's look into the policy. If I click on edit, so you are able to see uh, the elevate trusted application if necessary. Then I'm applying this policy across all the computers. In my case, on the AD OS user applications. So that's where I created just a BAT script. So let me show you. So here we are saying trust script source and then on the location. So here we are saying, so we are going to trust this particular location. This location is the same as if I go to my virtual machine. So this location is same as your uh, trusted uh, software repository. Okay, then I'm pressing a next, next. So nothing fancy. So here nothing has been configured yet. So if I click on next, finish, that's pretty much about it on this particular policy. So as a step number two, we will activate this particular policy. So once we are able to activate this policy, what we can do, we can go to my virtual machine again and we can fetch all these policies again. So once I double click, let's go to the script uh, placed on the on the on the local machine. If I double click, you are able to see this application has been blocked. Okay, as simple as that. What about the trusted uh, software? So if I click here, hey, I can run my application. So currently I was running my application in a normal mode. But many a time you want to run your scripts in a privilege mode as well. So if I click on run as administrator, you are able to see. So you, you are seeing a different EPM prompt. In this particular case, you can provide a justification if required, or you can simply press OK. If I'm pressing the OK, you are able to see I'm able to run these scripts as well. Okay. But many a times, apart from running the script directly from the trusted software store, user might want to copy this script onto their uh, local machine. So let's see. So once I'm able to copy this file, let, let me try to run this script again. You will see 
this particular application has been blocked okay because as of now in the step number two we created a policy to allow users to run BAT scripts uh, as long as they are running it directly at the trusted uh, software location so as a step number three what we will do we will configure another policy so this policy we are going to configure it on the basis of the source so let me show you this particular policy what i have configured before and later on we will activate this particular policy again everything is going to be the same here no changes at all so let's look at the bat scripts so here also it is coming from a trust script source so here if you see the file location can be anything okay so this is the major difference so once i click next next so here one important thing to take note here i'm saying if this particular script is coming from a specific source and i'm defining a specific source in this particular case which is your uh, trusted uh, software store okay so once i click next finish so what we can do we can simply activate this policy and let me activate it so once i activate this policy what we can do we can fetch the policies again so let's see on the on the test file if i go to the properties if you see on the cybra kpm so now elevated trusted on source so this policy is being active if you click on the source you are able to see that's how epm is able to track hey whether this particular file is coming from a trusted software or whether this particular file is downloaded from internet or created locally so now as a as a step number three let's try to run this scripts so you are able to see hey we are able to run this scripts and uh, if you want to run the scripts in a privileged mode due to XYZ reason, you can simply run as the administrator. Again, you are able to see a EPM prompt. So this EPM prompt is nothing but it is just telling the users, hey, you are trying to run these scripts in an elevated mode. So once I press OK, so you are able to see we are able to run these scripts in an elevated mode. So that's what concludes the today's demonstration if you have any questions feel free to post it on the comments and i shall be more than happy to answer any of your questions so thanks a lot everyone for watching this short video